Namaste everyone. Today's story from Joy of Reading is Amma's Toolkit. The author is Nandini Nair. Illustrator is Ashwini Hiramath and the publisher is Pratham Books. Amma, Amma is our mother, we all know that. But what is a toolkit? Tool could mean various things, but from here, I'm assuming it means the things we use to repair. So we have a cutting plier, a screwdriver, a hammer, tape, wrench. So these are all tools. And a kit is some sort of a bag that holds, that keeps all these tools. So let us see what we are going to do with Amma's toolkit. Amma is visiting Nani. Tara and Mimi are waiting for her. What will she bring back this time? They wonder. So where is Amma gone? She's gone to see Nani, visit Nani. So I think this must be Tara and Mimi. What are they doing? They're making a lot of paper boards and they're waiting for her. Amma is not there with them. And they're thinking, wondering, hey, what will Amma get us? Whenever our mother goes outside, we want something from her, right? So they are also wondering what Amma will bring back for them. The street is flooded with water. Tara and Minnie can't wait to float their boats. So look at the street here. There's so much water. So what is a flood? Flood means a lot of water is coming in, right? So the street is also flooded or it has a lot of water. And these two are jumping with joy because they want to put their boats on the water so that it floats. Float is staying up on the water. Boats float on the water, right? So they want to go ahead and do that with their paper boats. Honk, honk, a taxi stops at the corner. Amma is back. When did you get a boat? She asks. When the street got flooded with water, Minnie says. So, Amma now comes in a taxi. So, how do we know? The sound is honk, honk, poing, poing. So, honk means pressing the horn, poing, poing. So, Amma comes out of the taxi. She's seeing that the street is full of water. And then she asks them, when did you get this boat? What time or why did you, when did you get this boat? She, they say, when the street became full of water, we got the boat. Mini is saying that. And how did the street get flooded with water? Amma asks, because there wasn't enough place for the water in our house, says Tara. So Amma is wondering, how did the street get so much water? So how did it get flooded with water? So then what does Tara say? Because our house became so full with water, there was no space. So the water had to come out of the house. There wasn't enough space. So it had to come from our house into the street. Tara says that. Amma is wondering, look at her face here. She's like, oh my God, very surprised, right? Why didn't you use buckets to hold the water? Amma asks. How could we? The water was rushing and gushing out of the pipe, says Minnie. It was splashing and washing the floor, adds Tara. So Amma is asking, why didn't you use the buckets? Take the buckets and Put, make sure that the water falls into the bucket, right? To hold the water in the bucket, right? So then Mini says, how could we do it? There's so much water coming out. Rushing is coming fast. Gushing is like coming out with full force out of the pipe. How could we do that? And then it was like completely on the floor, splashing, washing, everything was just going on the floor in full force. So you can see them, right? 
look at this is what rushing and gushing out water is just coming out with full force it's rushing coming with full speed here and the floor is full of water the pipe how did it break amma asks crack says mini when baba hit it to get the tap working properly says thara so amma sees that the pipe has been broken so how did it break she is asking how how did it break so mini says with this crack with that sound crack it broke and when did it crack open when baba or the father you can see it he was hitting the pipe to get it to work properly something was wrong with it so he was trying to do ding ding hitting it like this right and at that time it broke so that's what happened the water went crashing and falling down the stairs says mini it flowed out of the house and flooded the street so the water just came gushing out it just went all over it came falling down the stairs and from their house it went out and then filled all the streets with water as well look at them we are seeing how the water is going falling down the stairs see this is the stairs step by step it falls down and then goes to the street amma races into the house and burst into the bathroom the house is ringing with the sound of water rushing and gushing so amma then races meaning she is going really fast into the house and burst like she goes like so fast into the bathroom the house is full of the sound of water flowing right so is ringing means it's sounding with the sound of water rushing going fast gushing coming out with full force right and she gets into the bathroom she's taking something from there and these two children are looking at her amma opens her tool kit there are many things in there a hammer a wrench screw drivers and a tape so she takes her tool kit she takes a bag of tools that which will help in repairing so what are there so you can see different words here right so this is a hammer so this is a wrench this is a screw driver and this is a tape there are multiple tools Do you have a toolkit in your house where so many different tools are there? Think about it. What do you have in your house? What tools you have in your house? Amma twists and turns things. She knocks and mends. Finally, there is silence. The rushing sound of water stops. so look at this picture what does amma do she takes the wrench and twist twisting is like doing like this and turns it's making a full round circle like this. so she twists with the wrench like twists and turns then she knocks here like no this is knocking and mends repairs so finally there is silence quietness why because the water has stopped coming out of the tap so the rushing sound of water stops because amma has repaired the tap or at least stopped the flow of water and you can look at tara and mini they are so happy yay like that right you can see the toolkit here mini and tara ask what did you bring us amma has brought them toolkits These are just like yours amma says mini so now the problem is solved right the water has stopped flowing so now mini and tara ask her what did you get for us 
So then what does Amma get them? She also gets them toolkits, just like what Amma has, right? She gets toolkit, one for each of them. And they say, it is just like yours, Amma. It just looks like what you have. So Mini says that. What can we do with this? Tara asks. Anything. Amma smiles. You can fix your bicycle, make a rocket fly, or stop the water rushing and gushing and flooding the street. So Tara and Mini ask, what do we do with this toolkit, Amma? So she says, you can do anything. Maybe you can fix, you can mend, you can fix your bicycle. Look at these two kids. Something is wrong with the bicycle, so they have to fix it. They can use the tools to fix it. Or maybe they can make a rocket and fly it out into the skies. Or she's just joking here. You might want to stop the water from flooding the streets, right? I hope you enjoyed this story. Think about all the tools that you have in your house. Thank you. Difficult words. A wrench or spanner is a tool used to provide grip and turn objects. In wrench, W is silent. Hammer, a tool used for jobs such as breaking things and driving in nails. Screwdriver, a tool that fits into the head of a screw to turn it. Pliers, a tool that is used for holding small objects or for bending things and cutting wire. Try these questions. What are these tools called in your mother tongue? Hammer, wrench, plier, screwdriver, tape. What are the tools that you have in your house? Have you ever used a tool to fix something? Until we meet again, this is Harini signing off. Thank you. Bye.